All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our second episode of calling random tricks and sharing thoughts about them. Yeah, in this video we'll do a bit of difficult tricks once again, and a little bit more jumping in the air. It'll be exciting. Let's hit it. So how do you think about your unnatural 180? Um, the unnatural 180, the way I do it, I like put like an overshifty in there mm -hmm. and then I bring it around. I don't know why that helps me, but it's like... With the overshift, you mean you, you shifted the skis in the direction you're not spinning? Yeah, pretty much, like right from the start mm -hmm. and then I swap it around mm -hmm. at the end. I really yeah. like that too. Yeah. And I've been kind of doing the opposite. On my unnatural 180, since I'm really good at doing tail grabs with my right hand, I'm grabbing in the right direction, which is really cool, because you kind of like grab and then look towards the jump for a longish time. Yeah. And then you're really blind, which I find exciting. You may not find that exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think my version, you definitely get more view. More of, control, of yeah. the landing. But yeah. mine feels so good. Yeah, that, I bet it does. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's the unnatural 180. Yeah. I'd just like to call a laid out backflip. Laid out backflip? Just chill. Try to keep the arms low. Sh should, we, should we go like no arms? Yeah, like, we can try no arms. No. Try to keep the arms like, have, Having the arms here, make yeah. it super. When I do backies, I always <laughs> try to under rotate a little bit. The last minute, if I have to, just pull in the, the knees. It's easier to speed up a rotation than it is to slow one down. Let's go do it. How did you feel about the switch on natural 180? Oh, I actually love it. Because when yeah. I was young, I could only spin a natural switch because I couldn't look over my left shoulder yeah. when skiing switch. Yeah. And also here, I went for my tail grab, and here it's kind of opposite. Um, so I was going for that right tail when spinning to the right, and then you can just like grab it, look towards the landing forever. And then last minute, I snap it around to forwards. How do you think about it? I don't know. For me, the in-run is still like weird. Feels a bit whack, but like, I just need to like focus like coming really straight over the jump and not like pre-spinning onto it uh -huh. and then it usually works fine. Yeah, yeah. I, I wind up nothing. I just look towards yeah. the landing, that's enough. Yeah, just lean a bit. Yep. Alright, let's do uh, a trick I haven't been doing like in my first years of park skiing because I was always scared of it and this uh -huh. season season I taught myself a front flip. So oh. I kinda wanna do it. Nice. Yeah, they always scared the hell out of me because uh, I don't know, you can't see you can't really see your landing just before you land. I feel safe on this on small jumps. Yeah. But these are kind of small, they'll be yeah, alright. Yeah, we do it on the second one. Uh, I'll do it on the first one. Check it. Don't check me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it on the second. <laughs> I think of it, I'll take a little step. Yeah. I find that's important. Yeah. The double ski take of shit. But a little step, look at the landing, tuck, and then I kind of, I think I look a little bit to the side to know what's going on in the world. Oh, really? Yeah, just a little yeah. bit. Interesting. I don't. Like glance to what's yeah. the side too. I definitely go straight over, yeah, but the step is super important. Yeah. Like, this is your, like, this is where you get the pop from, from like the one leg. Yeah. And the other leg is like the swing leg that sets the rotation. How are you thinking about your natural 180? Uh, I don't know, because I feel pretty comfortable on them. I do... You don't think? I don't think much, <laughs> no. But like, I love to do them double shifty. Ooh. I tried that there, I just came a bit short. Like literally throw the skis into your spinning direction first mm -hmm. really hard. Then bring it back and then at the end swap it around to the actual 180. Feels Ooh. great. Nice. I just have a nice strong pop. I kind of just punch a little bit towards the landing and I really like swing the feet up to my hands and I get this mute grab and I kind of really tweak it out, look at the landing, 
And also here, like last minute, bring around the switch. It's so nice because you can see the landing at all times. How did you think about the Switch Natural 180? Uh, switch 180, I, I love going for blunt mm -hmm. because like right there as you swing into it and you don't have to set it hard at all. It comes here and the blunt grab is right there. Super it's nice. great, you can hold onto it for pretty long. Yeah, I only do that on natural but it feels really nice. Mm. The way I thought about it, because I did it of this poppy whale tail, I was first of all basically absorbing the jump, something I don't like people to do in general, but just because it has really firm landing and don't want to jump that high. And then just went for a little double shift because it's, it's playful and felt great. Next trick. All so right. what we're we doing now? Uh, let's go for switch lap here. Let's Ooh. go. We got three jumps, so let's do uh, zero, switch three, and switch seven. Ooh, exciting! Just keep it switch all the time. Yeah. Uh, let's do some grabs in there as well. Which ones? Um, what should we get the zero? Ooh, uh, like lead safety maybe. All right, safety and tweak. Tweak it, yeah, yeah, sounds good. And then we do, I want to get switch three. I don't even know what that grab is called, like here. I like the idea of it. So yeah. lead the trailing. Trailing, like the hand is already there. You don't have to shift. Just yeah, just I just think go. I can do that. Yeah, and then let's put a blunt in the seven. Oh really? Yeah. Lead the trailing? Uh, uh, let's go as you like. As I like? Yeah, I'm going to go lead. Because then I also go, I, I'm, I'm maybe never done it, lead. Yeah. Probably I have done it, yeah. but I'll go for lead too then. Yeah. I usually always do trailing. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Oh, that felt so good. Whew. Mine too, like yeah. I really enjoyed it. What yeah. I had to think about on the Switch 7 was to have like pretty good patience before I got the grab. Yeah. Much later than I would like to actually. Yeah. It's because you're trailing. I'm going for it like right away. It no, feels like I'm, I'm leading too. Oh, you're leading? Yeah, that's oh, the true, way you I are. find yeah, it hard. True, you are. Yeah. I usually would trail. Yeah. Felt so good. I had it like over like a whole 360. Oh really? Yeah. I didn't hold it's it like for that it. long. <laughs> a little bit short, but fucking sick. Uh, but it felt really nice. And what I had in mind was basically to have a little bit of carb. I think there's a chance I actually took off from the inside. Only the camera will tell. But I was thinking that I would carve a little bit and I chuck it pretty hard. Yeah. I also have a bit of pop like off the shins to make it a straight seven and not the switch called seven. Well, you know what I started doing to get cleaner, like bigger spins and switch? Uh -huh. I actually don't only throw the lead arm, uh -huh. I actually throw both arms. And that sets me in such a good rotation. For the switch zero, I'm fully open, so I can counter rotate and then bring it back. Fair enough. And that safety is really helpful, I find, to like dare to like grab forwards and down so you don't land so nose heavy, which I like. A good tip there with that arm there, the other one there. Yeah, and lead uh, safety helps. Super nice. What did you think of the Switch 3? Well, I thought it was a grab I never do. Yeah. Like a critical, but on the outside, it feels nice and easy to grab because yeah. you're like, set it off that way and you're already there. Yeah. It's so easy to get to it. The hard part was to come from the curb yeah. and then like pop up so you land forwards. I think it could be a sick grab to do on Switch Hulk 5 though. Because then they just give in to yeah. it and get that grab. Works as well. Maybe, so maybe one of the ski nerds out there can tell us what this grab is actually called. Crossing over, grabbing here. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, how do you feel about side flips? Link a loop. Ooh, I never do it. I possibly never have, or possi maybe once. Or, I'm not sure. I feel scared. It's weird. <laughs> How do I do it? There, uh, it's it, this is like side flip is my safety trick. Really, it's so good that you see the landing all the time. I can do. <laughs> I carve in. I give it a decent pop. Like I feel I need the pop to get like uh -huh. the height for sure. And then you can do it kind of on, as an on trampoline if you're not sure if you set it hard enough, like using that arm and like pulling it straight down a bit. 
Yeah. But it only works when you actually get the pop as well. If you only do that and you don't get the pop, then it's like shit. Yeah. So yeah, get that. And do you lean a little? Do you try to go straight sideways or do you lean a little bit backwards? Like ideally, I would go straight Lincoln, but I always have a little bit of like a backwards motion in it as well. I'm a little scared of this one, yeah. but let's hit it. Now you got it. Oh, you got it. Thanks. A little worried here. Oh, that was ugly probably, but I landed the side flip. I can't wait to try it again. It was exciting because it can be done so easy even if I can't yet. We'll see Josh's now. Oh yeah. <laughs> but it's a hip lab. Nice. How I was it better? How was your first Lincoln? Oh, well, it was a little scary, but I knew I'd land on my feet. Yeah, you got around. You got you committed to the pop and to the rotation. So, what should yeah. I do better? It felt sketchy still. So. Ah, uh, like uh, you were. I mean, you were backseated. Yeah. And you kind of got a little rotation in. I felt like. Uh -huh. Not 100% sure. Uh, I don't know. Just keep it more tight together. Like set it, but then kind of commit to the tuck position. All right. Yeah. Was it a little like this, just a little loose? Yeah, yeah. I'll I think try. you can just like keep it tidy, keep a bit more core, Sweet. and then you're good. Can't wait. You have a lot of cameras going on right now. GoPro, camera there, camera in the sky. All right, drop in. Guess that's it for my skiing for today. Rip the bind his first time on this ski. So that didn't go so well. So you guys go and get some drone shots of the other rails there and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, let us know in the comments who do you think threw the better tricks. Was it Gens over here or do you agree more with me? And yeah, like and subscribe. Jens. And see you in the next one. Yeah. Thanks for watching.